Hello, my name is Eugene Kravchuk and today we'll be talking about aromaticity. And the question is, are you aromatic or not? There are four different rules to aromaticity. The first rule is the number one, is the ring. Uh, a molecule or compound has to have a ring and able to be aromatic. Number two is this ring has to be planar, meaning that it has to be aligned with the surface. It can be stand, coming out. Rule number three is that all, all atoms have to have p orbitals or lone pairs of electrons on the ring. So if there's a, a carbon that doesn't have a set of uh, p orbitals or a lone pair of electrons, then it cannot be considered as aromatic. And lastly, the, the rule number four says that it has to follow Huckel's rule. And you may ask, what is Huckel's rule? Well, Huckel's, Huckel's rule is an equation for n plus 2 equaling to a number of electrons in, on a ring. So, for example, when we look at this uh, cyclohexane ring, we can see that there are 1, 2, 3 double bond electrons, double bond carbons. Meaning that for each double bond, we count them as 2 electrons. So, we have 2 electrons here two electrons there and two here. So we have a total of six electrons. So let's see. Rule number one. Is it a ring? Yes. So it follows that rule. Is it planar? Yes it is. Also does it have us all atoms have p orbital or lone pair and here we see that yes they do. And last let's try the Huckel's rule. So we take 4n plus 2 equal that to 6 and then when we solve for n we get 1 now let's look at this compound this looks a little trickier um, so this is as we look at this this is a ring so it follows the rule number one number two it's planar because uh, there's no stereochemistry there Number three, we have to check because there we see double bond, which has a p orbital. Here we see double bond, but there we have an oxygen with two lone pairs of electrons. And in the rule, it says that we can have lone pairs. And when we use them to uh, contribute towards aromaticity, we only have to use one lone pair. So there's two pair, two electrons here, two electrons there, and two electrons here. So in total, we have six electrons. And when we plug in Huckel's rule, as from the previous example, we get exactly n equals 1. So this compound is aromatic. Another case that we see here with the ring that has boron in it, we take a quick look. We see that this is a ring, obviously, and that it is planar. Um, but also, we kind of think about the amount of p, p orbitals that are included. So here we see 1 double bond, two double bonds, and here we just see boron connected to three different molecules. But in the rule it says that ha the, the, uh, all molecules, all atoms have to have a p orbital, not necessarily filled ones. Uh, a boron is, is, is in a p orbital, even though it's uh, the p orbital is empty, it still has a p orbital, so we consider that as having a p orbital, so it fulfills that area. Now when we move to Huckel's rule and we see that there's only one, two, three, four electrons that we can use, when we plug it into an equation for n plus 2 equals to 4, when we solve for n, we actually get 1 half. This means that this it doesn't follow that rule and it would put this molecule in an anti-aromatic situation. Lastly, we will look at this ring. So it fulfills rule number one, it's a ring, and it's planar, so rule number two is fulfilled also. When we, we move on to rule number three, which says that all molecule, all atoms are, have a p orbital, or a lone pair of electrons, we see that there is a double bond over here, which contributes to two electrons. A double bond here contributes to two electrons also. Here we see an empty orbital, or it's, it's lacking. But it's a p orbital, considering the fact that it has a plus on it. 
so this goes well but the problem is right over here this is not a p orbital it's just a simple sp3 carbon so that means that that is it doesn't fulfill that rule putting this molecule into that non aromatic situation so that concludes our little lesson about aromaticity. There are many more molecules that we, you can use to practice for um, aromatics. And I hope that your studying goes well. Have a great day.